is when uh, a person meets another person, usually what happens is they put their best foot forward, right? They, they want to look and appear like the perfect person to the other person. And, and so the, the flaws tend to be hidden. We don't expose our flaws until after the wedding day. So it might be even on the honeymoon where a lot of tension happens. And some of these people who don't understand this whole concept feel that they have been lied to and they feel they have been betrayed and they're ready to give up from the very beginning. Which is I've pretty seen sad. Like that. Yeah. I think, you know, it's an ongoing thing in their lives. If you've been married four and five and ten times, yeah. you got kids, what about your kids? That's what they're going to know. And then, then when you when you get married <coughs> several different times, it's, it just causes all kinds of confusion for the kids that are involved. I've seen and a lot of different things with people. I, I enjoy it, but it's, it's, it's So the most important thing is if we understand God's love for us and that when we receive God's love and not to just hold his love in and, and just have this relationship with God, but it is our duty as Christians to share that love with one another. The song that I chose um, for an invitation to 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 recommit our lives.